So I've been doing this YouTube channel for like over four years now. And one thing that I constantly see in the comment section from people who live outside of North America is that our buses look old, outdated, ugly, stupid. They're bloody awful. These American buses are rubbish. Like, let me give you a quick example of how American buses look. If you're familiar with my channel, then you already know. But take a look here. You can see some of the Proterras, which they don't really run. Um, we haven't really been using those. The yellow buses are the Proterra battery electric buses. Then the blue buses are the Gillick battery electric buses. And here's a bus that I drive a lot right here, the BRT Plus bus, the Gillick BRT Plus bus. Gillick is one of the major manufacturers specifically in the United States of America. And then here's an example of a new flyer. New flyer is also one of the major manufacturers in North America, period. So we're including Canada. And there's a few other manufacturers, but people are constantly saying, hey, these buses look old and outdated. He ain't lying. So I want to react to some European buses. And not just European buses, but buses that are not made in North America, just period. Because we're going to take a look at this Isuzu bus, and I believe Isuzu is a Japanese company, but it's not North America. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Already, this bus has a very nice and modern look. It definitely does not look like anything that we have here in America. I mean, is that a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just keep checking out the Isuzu bus. It's very beautiful. You can see here you have some great lines here with the orange field up. You have the white LED down and you also have the marker lights underneath. And it looks very streamlined. I like how it forms a nice and welcoming design for the bus. We have a big, big front window here. Another thing I really like and I notice on a lot of non-American buses is they don't have the front windshield split in two. It's just one piece of glass all the way across. Here, I'll give you an example of what it looks like when it's split in two here in America. But I actually heard that it's more cheaper and more efficient when it comes to repairs to have the front windshield split in two. So that way, if there is some sort of crack or damage to the glass, they don't have to replace the entire glass. They can just replace one side. But it does look better when it's not split in two. I like the placement of the logo. Very nice with the silver with the black background. Here again, we can see the headlight. It really forms a good shapes around the corner. It's rounded. It's very nice and good to work with. So those headlights are 10 out of 10. Yeah, this bus, we're only on our first bus, and this bus does look better than uh, the majority of the North American buses. Maybe you guys are right from overseas, from across the pond. Maybe we are losers when it comes to buses, huh? I'm already feeling defeated as an American bus driver that drives American buses after seeing just one bus. One. Let's see what the driver's area looks like, and let's compare it to the driver's area of a North American transit bus. Yeah. The steering wheel reminds me of 90% of the city buses in, uh, yes, on the market. It's more or less the same, it's only the, the brand that is changed. And the dashboard is also the type that we are used to in Europe. You can, re you can move the whole structure a little bit, not so much as I'd prefer. But still you have a little bit of adjustment you can do on it. Driving seat, it's now without <laughs> any hair, so let me see if I can find out. This is the position I like to have. Now I have more visibility outside and uh, less blind spots. Well, the driver's compartment does look pretty nice and modern, a lot more modern than what we have here. Like, check out the driver's area on this Gillick BRT Plus bus that I'm driving today, and this is a 2015 model. I'm not sure I'm interested in that. Now we are inside of the passenger area. Inside here, we do have 37 seats, but in the total capacity, you can have about 100 people with standing passengers on board. In the middle, there's also three seats, so you can sit there if you are handicapped or if you do have your baby trolley with you. There is USB along the seats. The floor inside the bus is more or less completely flat. 
easy access, nothing to stumble in, and it's also very easy to clean. So yeah, that's a pretty nice and sleek interior. Nothing too crazy. I don't think that's really too far off from what we have in North America, but it does look really nice. And just to show you real quick, here's the comparison of the interior of my Gillick BRT Plus Bus. Again, this is a 2015 model. And if you'd like to check out more from the channel that I'm reacting to, this is it right here. Make sure you subscribe to them. I am subscribed. They put out amazing content. It's really cool. It's really awesome. You need to go subscribe. They review a lot of amazing buses, motor coaches, transit buses from all over the world. It's really cool. Okay, let's check out the next non-North American bus. But man, that is one nice European articulated bus or bendy bus. He ain't lying. I definitely like the interior that gets a 10 out of 10. It looks very spacious, roomy, modern. And I love all the fair payment systems that are scattered throughout the bus. This would be the perfect bus for a BRT system. I would like to drive this bus. Can I drive it? Can I take this bus for a test drive, please? No, 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 no. Man, the driver's area looks really nice. I gotta say, these European buses, and in the case of the Isuzu, which is a Japanese bus, but it was made for the Turkey market. For the Turkey market? For the, the, the bus market in Turkey. It makes our driver's area look very outdated. But you know, I think they just they just like to keep it simple here in America. You know, they stick to what they know, even if what they know is from the 80s. And it's okay. But let me show you the slightly upgraded and redesigned driver's area on the Gillick BRT Plus buses from 2022 slash 2023. Here you go. So this next bus is by Mercedes-Benz. We do not have any Benz city buses here in the United States. There are some Benz motor coach buses like the Tour Rider. Shout out to James from Motor Coach World. But no Benz city buses. Now, I'm a fan of Mercedes-Benz, especially the G-Wagon. That's one of my favorite vehicles in the entire world. I love a G-Wagon. You know, if enough people subscribe to this channel and watch the videos, I might be able to afford a G-Wagon. So yeah, let, let's let's get to subscribing and watching so I can get my G wagon. <laughs> That's not gonna happen more than likely, but it might, it might. I'm not gonna speak negativity. Let me start off by saying this is an absolutely beautiful looking bus. This bus looks amazing. However, that bus does not look like it is intended for real world usage. Not that one, not that particular bus. Can they have a version of that bus for the real world that actually has like seats for people to sit on, like more than like three or four seats? I love the wireless charging. You know, listen, man, that ain't gonna work. Not, not here in the United States. 
people will destroy all of that stuff but that bus would not make it a full day without being completely vandalized and yeah also see that it is a self-driving bus and that is something that is uh being slowly introduced into the transit industry but i'm going to tell you as far as looks there's nothing in america that looks anything like this mercedes-benz future bus even if it wasn't driving itself that design is amazing i love the exterior the interior not so much i mean it's cool but it looks like it's from a movie well, my break time is about over. It's time for me to get back in the driver's seat and drive this old, raggedy, outdated American bus.